Can we challenge you, Janika Patel, to a 60-second CPD? I'll try my very best. Okay. Yay. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. So what 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 subject do you want to do you want to talk about? Um, so subjects I want to talk about is microaggressions in the veterinary profession. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty heavy session thing to mm-hmm. talk about in 60 seconds. I'll give it my best shot, but yeah, give it your I'll best try shot. to condense yeah. it down. But yeah. All right. Well, that's absolutely fine then. In which case, let's get the magic clock up, shall we? And let's go. Okay. On veterinary ramblings. Janika Patel is going to give us 60 seconds on microaggressions starting now. All right. So microaggression is a term used for comments or actions which intentionally or unintentionally negatively target a marginalised group of people. Um, That could be people of colour, women, people with disabilities or people in the LGBTQ plus community. A recent study conducted by the BVA showed that one in six veterinary professionals face discrimination in the workplace or while studying. And within that, microaggressions play a huge part. Some examples of them include, you don't sound gay, or it's impressive that you have kids in a career, or oh, you look so exotic. Just by themselves, they don't mean much to the people who say them, but the effect that it has on the people affected by them is massive, especially when they're said to us again and again and again. So what can we do about them? They can be so daunting uh, for people affected by them to tackle. We fear that speaking out against these comments will alienate us from our peers. And I know from personal experience that victims are often told they're making a mountain out of a molehill. I think we all can do better at spotting microaggressions and being aware of the impact they have. And I urge people affected and the allies that stand with them to speak out against microaggressions and report them. I also urge people on the other side to listen and believe how painful microaggressions can be for the people who've experienced them and be mindful of what they say and how they say it going forwards. 